Uh, morning all. It's the start of day three. So we just walk down? Yeah. Um, there's a reason why there was no videos after we crossed the erm yesterday. Why, Karen? Morning, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't we do any videos when we um, after we'd waded across the erm? Because we were going through hell. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we sort of went to hell and back after that. Um, it was a lot steeper and a lot more vertical than we thought. Um, we I really did further. struggle. Um, <laughs> it was only three, three miles, three and a half miles to um, the um, accommodation. That wasn't. Well, <laughs> Devon, Devon has a different mileage than the rest of the country. <laughs> <laughs> it took us over three hours to do it. And we finished in the torrential rain, um, so hence there was no videos. Um, Karen had a bit of a sit down, didn't you, darling? I didn't, I had a fall down. You had a fall down? I had a fall down. <laughs> I got stunned a bit, scratched. <laughs> yeah, it really wasn't very good. Uh, yeah, so, um, but we made it. Uh, we're alive. And um, we're, alive. <laughs> we're alive. Today is a lot easier, uh, and we're walking from um basically ringmore which we left about an hour ago um and we're coming down to the ferry across the avon um not that avon another one and then behind us that's bantham beach uh i used to come here as a child um that's a long time ago and it was always really impressive. We've got kite surfers and everything going on there down there today. It's quite windy. We've just taken our waterproofs off because it was raining. Um, forecast is wind and stuff. Uh, I'm going to get the ferry and head out to Inner Hope, out to Hope, Hope, Hope Cove, and then um, make a decision on there with, um, how we get to Salkham. Um, we are pretty knackered. Um, yesterday really took us out of it. Took it, took it out of us. It was over 15 miles and the vertical was 2,600 feet in one day. So I, I just about eight, I think 800 meters um, we did yesterday. So that's a lot for us. We're old. We're really old. <laughs> and my beard's getting really wet in the rain. Why did I grow a beard to start walking? Oh well. Right. Whoop. Turn this off, walk down to the ferry. Take care, guys. Well, we made it to the ferry. I stopped the chair all the time, and I went, get your cow. <laughs> she goes, Karen, don't let them get out. You've got to get off in a minute. And literally, as she said it, we docked. Like, no. so. <laughs> right, well, we waved. We weren't sure which boat house it was, so we rang the bell three times for who the bell tolls. And there's somebody coming over there. Let's hope it's the ferryman. And we've got to pay him. <laughs> right. I reckon we could have waded across that. No, you can't wade across that. That's really deep. <laughs> it's really deep. <laughs> yeah. No, but you've got really fast flowing water. Look, the tide's coming in. There's a boat over there. I oh, know. We can, borrow, we can that. borrow that. If Paul was with us, he's going to be with us on Thursday, Friday, um, Friday Saturday. Yeah. Um, he'd steal a boat. <laughs> Don't make him out of <laughs> oh, He was going to do one in York. <laughs> right. Let's, we'll get a little bit more on the ferry. Well, we're on the ferryman. On the ferryman? No, we're not on the ferryman. <laughs> we haven't paid him yet. Well, there's one heck of a tidal race coming in, and um, yeah, uh, I used to call this a ferry glide when I used to do a lot of canoeing. Uh, but with power on board like this, you're absolutely fine. So, uh, all much fun. Oop. What do you reckon, Karen? Beautiful. <laughs> right, we'll catch you on the other side, guys. Take care. <laughs> uh, can't swim out. <laughs>
Whoa! <laughs> and there's a footpath down as well, fuck! Karen might go down there. <laughs> she doesn't like going near the edge. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> nice bridge. Karen gets first to go, but this doesn't bother her. <laughs> it's open! <laughs> I can't imagine where we're going. Yeah, and it's lunchtime, the weather's just changed. Um, yeah, you can't see it from behind me, but um, yeah, we just had to put the waterproofs back on because we had a little squall come in. And um, yeah, down the steps, welcome relief. So this will be my first pint <laughs> since, oh, when? Um, last Saturday, bloody hell. <laughs> but also all my mates, yeah, I know, it's not normal. <laughs> Come on, Karen, hurry up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I, I want a beer, I want a beer. <laughs> Well, we made it to Sulcombe, and um, we were really lucky, actually. We got offered a free house um, for the night in um, in Sulcombe um, through a friend. Absolutely amazing views, and um, yeah, we'll start up again tomorrow at the start of day four. Whoop, whoop. Mm. It's only 4.30 in the morning. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I just got woken up by Karen. What a view out of a Sulcombe bedroom window. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, well, Dartmouth later. Whoa. No, not Dartmouth. No, we're not going to Dartmouth today. We're going to B-Sands. Sulcombe to B-Sands. Yeah. Wow, what a sunrise. Woo. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're on the ferry. <laughs> <laughs> and we're on the phone with a lot of people. Okay. Hey! hey. 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 <laughs> You're going to be on YouTube now. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Well, we just walked across the ferry, just up through the trees, and uh, pictures. Uh, the beach down there is Sunny Cove. Um, absolutely fantastic beach. Um, it's usually quiet on the other beaches in Salton because you've got to walk to it. Um, it's where we used to hang out as kids. It's where my mum and dad brought me and my sister as children all the way from Top North overnight to stay in a hotel for our summer holidays and we always used to come to Sunny Cove. Um, my dad knew the area well. This is in the 60s because my dad was stationed at Crawl Point um, with the RAF. Um, so he knew Solcombe. Believe you me, Solcombe in the 1960s was a quiet town. It was... <laughs> he actually got offered the hotel when they were going to sell it because we'd been there so many times. Then, at about the age of eight, I believe we actually moved down here. So, yeah, lots and lots of happy memories on Sunny Cove for me and my sister when we were kids and for my children and my sister's children. Um, they've all had many a good holiday down here on this beach. Um, rounders, cricket, swimming, watching boats in the surf get thrown onto the beach because we know full well these waves dump. <laughs> they don't come in properly. 
Right, those forwards, you've had enough of my history lesson for Sunny Cove. I'm sure you're bored, bored of my voice. Where we stayed? No, it's not where we stayed last night. <laughs> Just looks the same. We were overlooking the estuary going up towards Kingsbridge, not out to sea. Uh. <laughs> morning, Johnny. Morning, Johnny. <laughs> We'll tell you why we keep saying morning Johnny. We'll do a little video. <laughs> right, forwards, Garra Point next stop. Well, I've seen quite a few of these trees which are obviously uh, growing this way because of the prevailing winds being southwesterly. Um, we've nicknamed them Elvis. Why? Well, it's a tree with a quiff. Yay! <laughs> well, I've just got to Garra Rock. Pretty impressive walls on this hotel. Let's keep the residents in. What do you reckon, Karen? Keep the residents in the hotel? Definitely. Definitely. We'll keep us out. <laughs> I'll keep unwelcome visitors out. Okay, we, well, we climbed up to Gower Rock and uh, the hotel here. Uh, uh, the big group of lads and girls who were on the ferry with us are down there. So they're only a uh, quarter of a mile, if that, ahead of us. Pretty good going, really. We're doing well. Uh, nice beach. Uh, go around the headland here low, low down rather than over the top and then, then on to start um, not start um, prawl point and then start point after that yeah forwards downwards excellent oh another kissing gate excellent woohoo wow uh, absolutely the toughest section yet uh, absolutely crazy uh, exposure rock climbing um, vertical drops, uh, really, really quite extreme. Um, they did say it was moderate to strenuous. I hope that was the strenuous bit because, um, wow, uh, yeah, you see what I mean by rock climbing? <laughs> We're not quite at the top yet. Well, right, I'm out of breath. Oh, well, I made it round start point and, um, yeah, really tiring getting up there. Uh, got the corner actually at the top, so, uh, and then we come down. This is really nice here. Um, it's, a, it's a terrace, uh, comes all the way around. You can see this is where the sea used to be. Um, yeah, and start point over there. Um, yeah. We're a man down, um, unfortunately. Um, yeah, Karen got a really, 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 really bad dose of the um, vertigo um, and we couldn't go any further. So uh, we did a little detour back to Garra Rock Hotel she's gonna sit down there and get some coffee and a bit of lunch and then meet me a bit later around in the start point car park where we walk back down to b sounds together um on the uh, yeah let's start keep walking because i want to keep the pace up um yeah if you go on the scale one to ten of um like getting vertigo um so in terms of exposure then karen um and, um, well, yeah, she just absolutely went, bless her. Oh, absolutely. Uh, she just felt dreadful about it. Um, but, um, yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, we were on about a 2 in terms of exposure. Um, around the corner, went up to about an 8, and then a bit further on, well, it was more like a 20 to, in terms of exposure, climbing across rocks. And um, well, have I got my arm in the photo, in the picture all the way? I don't know. Um, but, yeah, yeah, we made 100% the right decision to um, uh, split the walk for her um, she yeah she would yeah I don't, it doesn't bear thinking about 100% creative decision it's supposed to be a holiday it's it's not a yomp across the fork <laughs> right <laughs> talking about yomps <laughs> yeah I'm striding out of it uh, just did the, even over some pretty tough terrain I just did the last two miles in about 40 minutes so uh, yeah, fitness levels are getting better. Day four. Woo. Woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. I can't. I can't do the gladiator bit. That was a fence. <laughs> well, we're back together. A couple of miles down from start point. Uh, I've got about maybe half a mile to do before we get to B Sands. Whoop! Hey! Pub! <laughs> uh, the weather's. Uh, oh, wrong way round, hang on. The weather's coming a bit. Um, yeah, you can't see Start Point, it's only about 
it's two and a half miles over there. Uh, and it's raining. Yeah. Right, forward. Let's go and find Megan Paul, see if they're there yet. <laughs> Well, we finally made it to the Cricket Inn at B Sands. Big shout out for them. And of course, yeah, we had a few beers and um, it, was, it was quite funny. Um, lots of people we bumped into on the Southwest Coastal Path. Yeah, they were all in the pub having a few beers. It was um, very jolly and on a very wet afternoon. So, yeah, Salk and Beer, big shout out. And um, we'll start off tomorrow on day five when Meg and Paul, um, some friends from Toaster, uh, walk in a couple of days with us. So that should be fun. Bye all.